bro, if you don't know a thing about Angelusa, man, get ready for a fun, fun time because this is going to be a bit of a size discrepancy, right? Lizez is the big, tall fighter, 6'1", 76-inch reach. Lusa, 5'10", 74-inch reach. But the one thing that is really interesting about Lusa is that he is 8-2, and two, right? Five knockouts, one submission. But even though he has one submission, this dude's grappling chops are a lot better than people would think, man. You look at him, and even in his headshot, you're like, ooh, look at the traps on the man. You know, he's looking thick, looking, you know what I mean, jacked out there. This man could get you to the ground and do horrendous things to you. So things to know about these fighters. Lezez has only been finished once in his two career losses. One knockout, one decision loss. Eight of ten wins via finish. Eight knockouts. And then five career first-round finishes. So he likes to get it done early and often. Angelusa, um, he's replacing Eliezu Zaleski Dos Santos, um, who fell out for whatever reason. So very short notice. Six of his eight wins via finish, five knockouts, one submission. Six of eight finishes are all first round finishes. Both these dudes want to get you out early, brother. So that's what it comes down to. Let's not forget, Lezez in his last fight lost to Warley Alves in the first round. It was an early onslaught. Lezez came in, overpowered him, body kicks against the cage. It was too much. And I think that fight was in Abu Dhabi too. So that was, I mean, you know, tough for the hometown fighter, more or less, right? But for Angelusa, man, he's got decision wins, split decision wins, finish wins, all types of different stuff, man, like we already kind of noted. So my question to you when it comes down to this, AJ, is that is Lizez going to learn his lesson and try to pace himself or play a little more smart defense and not let somebody just rush in and get in and try to go smash style? Or do you think the unknown commodity of Angelusa is going to make it that much more difficult and he's going to just have to adjust on the fly? I think it's going to be a very difficult fight to not be able to be over, over, uh, over, what's the word I'm looking for? Like over pressure, you know, over, over to come. Cause Angelusa, it's a four day fight notice, man. He, he picked this fight up on four days and said, fuck it, I'm down to scrap. And he's training. So he's going to have that, but he's going to need to finish that fight early. It's thankfully it's not a five round. So he's not worried about, you know, going those extra 10. But at the same point, man, you know, it, it, there's a difference. You know, when you're when you're preparing for your opponent, you're doing the thing, you know, you're gonna getting ready for it. Uh, Manir Luzez, he's been he's been training, you know, he's been he's been more dedicated. And sure, they're probably both in the gym. I know for for sure they're both in the gym training. But the the mental game of who you're gonna fight takes a lot of aspect into this, man. And same goes for Lazez, man. Lazez was going for somebody else. So now that you get Angelusa coming in with all that pressure, all that determination, it's going to be a very hard fight. But if Lazez can keep him on distance, keep him going, keep away from the ground uh, ground game, man, because Lusa is very, very dangerous on the on the ground and has hella power. So it's going to be very interesting, man. This dude's high pressure, all power. Lost his contender series debut, but still very fast and has a lot of size to him. Trained, trained with Kamara Usman, but now that Kamara went somewhere else, he's also trained in Sanford, where uh, who was it? Gilbert Burns, all the all the all the killers out in Sanford. So this dude's well trained. Very hard fight for Luzez, but four day notice, man. That's what did it for me. I'm like, this yeah. dude's taking us on four days against Munir Luzez. Going to be a very tall mountain to climb. Yeah, I hear you, brother. And the one thing that sold me on Angelusa is when he fought uh, Jack Della Maddalena. Um, and that was a fun fight, man. That was back and forth. That was scrambles. That was having him in disadvantaged positions, taking him to the ground. He had an arm triangle. He almost had cinched up on him, brother. Like, it was, that's crazy. Jack Della Maddalena is a real deal prospect right there. So for Angelusa, even though he lost the fight to have that level of success against him, I see beautiful things to come in his future at the highest of levels. Now, Munir Laziz, man, he's a heavy hitter, brother. He's a heavy hitter. And I think that he has the potential to be able to get this fight um, accomplished out of there early. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we're just going to have to see what it comes down to with the grappling defense, submission defense, all of that good stuff, man. I'm going on a whim here, AJ, over and under is two and a half rounds. I'm rocking with the underdog. I'm rocking with the new, the man coming in on four days notice who's just willing to scrap, Angelusa. I think uh, the, the unknown factor is going to be a little bit of a difficulty. However, I think if he gets it done, he got to get it done early, brother. So I'm going to go second round knockout and Lusa. Um, and I'm going to go early. So I'm going to take the under on that one, brother. So I'm just going to give that one right there. I love my man Munir Laziz. Don't get me wrong. Dude's a great, great fighter. But like I said, I'm going with the, the upset here so I can get over on the week on you. You know what I mean? I got to get back into at least even this thing up. See what happens. What do you think, bro? No, I, I'm with you. And if I see a way for Lusa to win, that's what it is, yeah. man. Early, vicious, a lot of power. I'm expecting Lezez to come out and point his way to victory, man. I'm going near Lezez, and I'm going by decision. Like I said, I'm expecting the points. I'm expecting to play a calculated game, get the dude on a four-day four notice fight, 
get him tired, get him working, get him feeling a different kind of way, especially with the bright lights of the UFC. The crowd's back. It's going to be a whole different vibe now that Los has never, ever seen. So like I said, man, I'm going Lizez and I'm going by decision. All right, right on. Well, that concludes the main card for UFC Vegas 51. (laughs) 